Okay, hello, today's game we came up with here at home and we started using a broom and we th thought, what could we use? We had some tennis balls we started knocking around and we thought, what is something that will not break other things? And we came up with a pair of socks that you can use for so many things, throwing, tossing, catching, sliding, kicking. And then we put it together and it's just like the sport of hockey. Okay, so up north, they play a game called hockey ice hockey in Canada and Michigan and Wisconsin and Minnesota and in and, and really cold places. Down here in Florida, we, we, we play other kinds of hockey. Maybe we'll play on a court or on a grass field of field hockey or at home where we can play sockey. All right, so I'm gonna show you a few different versions to play. Uh, you can play depending on where you are at your house. If you have a, a, a floor like this or wood, or maybe carpet you could try to do it as well and I'll show you a couple different games and a couple different things you can use to play the game so let's get started as you can see back here I set up some shoes okay all right I have a goal over here and I have some shoes I set up as my starting line so I'll take my sock from Saki and drop it down I'm gonna time myself for a minute and I'm not actually gonna do a full minute but I'm gonna tell you that you can do a minute for the first game, okay? So, get the ball, get this, this uh, sock on the line, and ready to play some socky. I start my clock, and see how many times I can hit it through, all right? In a minute. And if you miss, that's okay. Just don't count it. You gotta take just one hit, not more than one. If you hit it and it doesn't go, that doesn't count. You gotta bring it back, okay? Hit it through. Oh. All right, hit it through, and remember, it's a push. A push, not a swing. Take your broom and push it through, and you can make it as far and as long as you want. That's the first version of the game. Whew, it's fun. That was third, almost 40 seconds, and I was just wanted to show you how it works. You can do it for a minute. All right, make sure you always ask your parents before you play any games with a broom, because brooms are long and they're solid, so you don't want to hit anything with them. So if your parents don't want you to play with a broom, no problem. Let me show you something else you can use. You can use a book, all right? Same thing. You can hit from the side, you can hit from the center, all right? Run and get it. Make sure you dribble it back with your book. No using the hands in any of these games, all right? Run and get it, bring it back with the book. Another version is soccer and hockey with a sock, which is socky, of course, right? Because we love it. Use your foot, knock it through, work on those soccer skills, dribble it back, line it up, knock it, oh, missed that one. That's okay, back. Too short, it's tricky. That's it, back, knock it through with your foot. Okay, so those three different things that you can use to play socky. Sock, broom, kind of like hockey with a sock, or sock with your feet for soccer, socky. Okay, next version, all right? Hitting the ball through, running and getting it, it's the first version in a one minute game. The next version, I can set up a goal using a basket, right? I have a box that could work. We can hit it in. Or a basket that looks like a goal in a net. And you use some shoes to hold it into place like that, okay? And knock it in there. Just another way to do it, okay? So if you have a, uh, a cardboard box or something, you can always use that too. I'm gonna set it up. For this version, I like to get more than one pair of socks. I'm gonna line them up. All right? And I'm gonna get ready to knock them through. Again, you can use your broom. Okay, I got three out of five. Or you can use your book. 
and you can hit them. One, two, three, four. All right? That's another version. Try to see how many you can get in a minute. Run and get them, bring them back, line all five up. Okay? That's uh, uh, version number two. One more version I can, I'll show you is making a goal on both sides. Right? So, I'm going to make myself a goal. I have these squares, so I'm going to put that shoes on the lines. All right? And I'm going to take my one sock. All right? And you knock it through one goal, count it if, if you get it through, and then you try to stay over there and knock it back through the other goal. This one's tough. All right? You're going to get really moving. Start your minute. Ready? Go. Knock it. There's one. Oh, missed it. Two. Oh, I missed that one. Got to practice the left side. Good. So I'm, I'm doing it with my left hand. Oh, missed it again. I know what I got to practice. Oh, missed. Got it. There's one. And again, you can do the same thing with the book. All right? Or with your foot. Try to do if you can do both feet. Whew. Yeah, it's a good time. And a minute. All right. There's a few different games you can play. You can play with a broom. For sake, you can use a book. What do we call that? Baki? I don't know. Well, we still use the sock. So it's a, lot of sock. it's a game that's like hockey, like soccer, uses a sock. And like, like always, you know, I'm going to show you where to look, but I'm not going to tell you what to see. So I'm giving you these great games you can try at home, and you can make up your own version if you want. Have a great time with it. Try one minute rounds. All right, see if you can beat your score each time getting a higher more shots through, all right? And keep moving, keep having a good time. And uh, all right, we'll see you on the next one.